Hi, I'm Irma. And I'm Barrett, and we're at the International Coastal Cleanup. The International Coastal Cleanup was started up by the Ocean Conservancy in 1986. Since then, the participating countries has grown to 91 countries. ICC was started so that volunteers can come out once a year to collect garbage and clean up our local beautiful beaches. Every year, ICC volunteers collect over 7.7 .7 million pounds of garbage. Now here today, we're at Mila Bay to collect our bits of garbage for a worldwide effort. Let's, Let's start, start cleaning! cleaning. Hi, I'm here with Yadi Ravain, the president of the Samaritan Pride Foundation. So how long have you been organizing the beach cleanups? Uh, beach cleanups, uh, St. Martin Pride started with beach cleanups and community cleanups back in 2000 when we started St. Martin Pride Foundation. Um, that's what we were founded on, the idea that uh, in order to get people to understand about uh, littering and anti-littering, yeah. to get them to pick up the trash themselves. And like this, they see that, you know, they do something good. They're, they're a volunteer with helping the environment. All right. And today is an international coastal cleanup. And what's the difference between an international coastal cleanup and a beach cleanup? International Coastal Cleanup is organized around the world today in many other countries. Today, probably on CNN, you're going to see other countries uh, highlighted that they picked up trash, but so did St. Martin. Um, it started with the Ocean Conservancy back in 1986. They decided to start a global event called the International Coastal Cleanup, where people clean up the beaches, the lakes, uh, rivers, anything uh, to uh, any place where trash has the ability to enter the waterways. And uh, St. Martin has been a part of uh, International Coastal Cleanup for many years. The difference is International Coastal Cleanup, the trash is inventorized. All trash pieces has to be counted and put on a, da on a data card like this one. The idea is that all the volunteers write down exactly what they found um, and later on I will be counting them and, and, and inventorizing them each uh, on a summary card and then with those summary cards I will send them into the Ocean Conservancy in Washington DC. I'm Barrett. So how are you guys doing today? Excellent. Thank Good. You. So what made you get up this early and decide to clean up the beach? Okay, I think this is an excellent uh, project and it's for a good cause, that's why. Hello, what's your name? Shirlon. And what made you get up this early to help clean up the beach? That, um, like the people how they don't be littering sometimes, we should be cleaning it up and making the beach healthier. Uh. We get community service for it and uh, it's a good thing to do because people come here just to see our beaches so it should be clean for them. Yeah. Um, knowing that we'll be cleaning up the islands. Supporting not only my school but our beautiful island and trying to get it clean. Well I just want to do my good for the community. <laughs> Environmental projects are also Lions projects and we are glad to be here this morning to do the cleanup because uh, I think uh, we need to do more than a cleanup. We need to bring about the awareness how to take care of our environment. And I think uh, this time around, the Lions Club definitely will get involved into uh, bringing the awareness to the community, to government, etc., yeah. that we need to keep our island clean because what we have seen here this morning is very terrible. I know. I need community hours for school. Okay, and what for you, sir? She made me go as company. <laughs> what made you get up this early to help clean up the beaches? Well, I felt that I had to help my community in a way and pick up garbage at the beach. Oh, was it for community hours? Definitely for community hours. Yes. Yeah. But you feel it's a good thing, right? 
Oh, of course, of course I do. Helping out the community is always a good thing. Now everyone should do that, don't you think? Yes. <laughs> and um, what do you think of the situation that there's so much garbage on the beaches? It's pretty filthy. It's disgusting. It's horrible. And it's our fault because we're the ones going out there every Sunday and throwing the garbage. We have to become more aware of these environmental issues before St. Martin goes down the gutter. It's terrible, of course, to know that people come here there is a place for them to enjoy themselves, have a good time, you know, eat and drink, but they must also realize that you must take home your garbage. We need to really do something about it. It's too much garbage here. The sad thing is that it's necessary. Um, I think there should be more awareness from people to uh, clean up uh, after they leave the beach. Some people are going to go like, oh, wait a minute, this place is a big sty. And tourists are going to go like, man. When you go home, man, them say Martin people, they a bunch of letters. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. And uh, I haven't been, this is the first time, and uh, I haven't seen so much garbage in a long, long time. So I think it's a, it's a very good uh, idea to do this. Yeah. People are nasty that come to Mullet Bay. <laughs> and what's the strangest thing you found till now? This big, heavy, rusted metal object that looks like it's part of a car. We found all type of things. We found diapers, we found <laughs> bottles, <laughs> cans, a lot of plastics and utensils. We even found underwear and <laughs> all these pieces of clothing. Cigarette butts, cigarette uh, packs of cigarette, uh, plates, plastic bags, uh, clothing, everything. It's, it's terrible. Yeah. It's terrible, yes. It's terrible. I even saw a wig. Yes. But yes. Who yes. doesn't yes. clean up their wigs? <laughs> Last off, do you still have a tip? for our people who come to the beach? Uh, you know, if you have any of your own garbage, take it away, because we just found something that looks like it's a year old, and it's not really great to pick up. So if you see anything, even if it's not yours, if you think you can carry it without getting contaminated, just pick it up. You have more bins around so yeah, you could throw the garbage people in. People are really lazy to walk all the way to the bar and throw it away, so should, they should have like maybe bins along the beach closer to where people sit. Yeah. We would like to ask everybody who comes out to the beach, bring a plastic bag and take back your garbage yeah. because this is terrible. This Where you see the amount of garbage that is being collected here. Look at all that. Bite him!